we're coming at you again today so what we're going to be doing today is actually buying materials to build a front yard pond at my house this is what i used to build my first one all right perfect. then you're going to need tubing tubing right here tubing perfect tubing at least we have the tubing right we have the liner and the tubing right apparently he's going to fail at everything else but we got at least that going Pump now. I would honestly do a 560. I would do a 560 just because this is just gonna cause like cause so much water dispersing that you're not gonna be able to see the fish. What are you doing? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> My skateboard's so fun. Hey, dude. 60. So we're into the 560. We're into the 560. Okay. Right now you don't really need the chlorinator because fish aren't going in, and I always keep that on me anyway. <laughs> Who carries a bottle of Cartwright <laughs> in their pocket? Like next to the cash phone. So like Let me just put my bottle there. Jungle start right. Tap water conditioner. <laughs> right. Okay. Just in case any like tanks or seas needs to be dechlorinated. Exactly. On the go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my thing is, right? Like are you just walking into places that need dechlorination in a tank? Like Knock on people's doors. Do you have like a tank? You, walk, you like walk into PetSmart and you're like, hey, your, your tank needs to be dechlorinated. Let me take it. <laughs> You could do a box because you're gonna need filter pads. You could definitely use stuff from my house. But you are gonna need the box. Okay. So, put some water in the box. That is awesome. <laughs> we don't need the water. <laughs> did you did you have an accident? I did have an accident, yes I did. Awesome. We have a box, a filter. Screw it. Let's get to 3600. Why? Oh, you just need a nozzle kit? Nozzle kit goes on top of the pump, which goes inside of here. Right. And that's your filter box that holds beneficial bacteria, which will kill ammonia because you don't want an ammonia spike to kill all the fish. Beneficial bacteria eats the ammonia. I know a little bit. Did you know what that meant? It's the same way that you have beneficial bacteria in your gut that kills all the crap in there. That's why when you eat a Chipotle bowl, what happens to your Chipotle bowl? And this is why you don't leave the house with Christian. We got you two plants right here. These are really nice Amazonian planties. This right here is your main plant. They say this is a house plant, but these always do so good for me during the Texas fall, spring, and summer. Yeah. In the winter, we're going to plant it with the pot in so you can pull it out. So we have plant, pump, liner, filter box, nozzle kit, all of it. We now we just need some rocks. rocks. You have to rinse the rocks before you put them in yeah. because they got so much clay and dirt and stuff sure. on them. So you want to do a mix between right here okay and the pea gravel you don't want too much pea gravel because they hold a lot of allergy okay so you probably want to get probably five bags of these do four bags of these and probably four bags of those So we got the rock. Four bags of pond pebbles. So we have to rinse all this off with four bags of pea gravel. We're gonna mix it together. We got shovels at the house, right? Shovels at the house. Let's make our way out. Hey Jess, I appreciate it. You will end up on our YouTube channel if that's Let's okay. Go. So this pond build is cost me about two hundred and eighty-five dollars. That's a pretty good price for a for a first pond. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? A parasite on me. A parasite. <laughs> Let's load this stuff up. It's really hard. Awesome. We are full. We are full. We are literally full. We are full. full. Totally full. As full as you can be. Full. Possibly a little fuller, but we are back at the house unloading all of the stuff. We've actually decided on a different place that was not previously talked about. I really hope that you guys like today's video. So this is day one of my front yard pond build with Brenton. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to try to build the best 
and coolest pond I could for under $300, which we definitely started that off right. I think we're gonna be able to accomplish it pretty well. Definitely stay tuned. The next episode that'll be coming out will actually be digging out the pond, playing the liner, and those types of things. And then we'll finish that up with rocking the pond, uh, and then maybe have a subsequent video on putting some fish in it or something else, I'm not really sure. I'd eventually like to add a waterfall, Brent says it's kind of difficult to do. I'm sure it's not overly difficult. It's just time consuming. And he was getting ready to celebrate his grandmother's birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. As well as he's getting prepared to leave on Tuesday to head to Florida to hang out with Paul. When he gets back, we'll definitely have some more videos around stocking it and such. I'm gonna continue this video series of building out the pond while he's out of town. I will wait for him to get back before I stock the fish because I know nothing at all about putting fish in a pond and I'm gonna need him for that. We really do appreciate all of the subscriptions and all of the views of our videos and we hope you are enjoying them please comment below and let us know what you'd like to see on this channel going forward we would definitely appreciate any of the input on what type of videos you'd like to see anything that we you would like for us to continue i'm sure there's going to be plenty of videos coming with collaborations between myself max and brenton so please stay tuned and if you have not hit that subscribe button yet please do once again Thank you so much for the support, and we will see you next time.